what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we are diving back into this world this world of paranormal act paranormal activity with these two sisters i don't believe both of them are going to return i know one of them is being teased to return we know the last time we got a paranormal activity film was back in 26 2015 with the final chapter paranormal activity the ghost dimension i'm hoping in this new film we won't have to deal with mika's dumbass and any other dumbass with a camera <laughs> but uh christopher landon recently they've been talking about this all over social media i know it first got announced in late 2019 that they were supposed to try to revitalize the franchise and bring it back for a 2021 release in march but of course with the ongoing pandemic that's been pushed back to march of 2022 so they don't really have any idea of where they're going according to what jason blum has been saying they also don't have any writers that have been announced just yet we don't know who's directing it a lot of people have speculated and misconstrued that it was going to be christopher landon christopher landon actually is not the one that's going to be writing this film he has made that clear himself uh he has teased that we should be expecting a huge surprise for who the director is going to be and i'll share who i think is, who i think it'll be down down the road in this in this video but i personally am i'm satisfied with where we're at with this franchise as far as like those those five or six movies we already got i'm 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 tired of it honestly i i mean if depending on what they have to offer with this new with this new installment i'll be like okay we i want to dive back into this world but i personally have no interest in them expanding on it any further if we're not going to get a quality film because we haven't gotten a quality film in quite a while but christopher landon tweeted this out just for clarity he said he wanted to clarify something about my involvement in the new movie i am helping my friends and co-collaborators at paramount set a new course for the franchise i am not writing the script nor am i directing the new movie i am eager and excited to hand the reins over to a fresh filmmaker who will undoubtedly reinvigorate this franchise that the amazing orrin pelly created so many years ago now, we know Christopher Landon has been responsible for these recent horror comedy hits, Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to You, and then recently Freaky. He wrote uh, most of the last couple of Paranormal Activity movies. I believe they were Paranormal Activity 2 through 5. He directed the last film. He did the fourth one with Catherine Newton, who we know starred in the main role of Freaky with this uh with his latest film Freaky that just recently came out. So that was a nice little reunion for those two. But Christopher Landon's work in Paranormal Activity, they've been atrocious outcomes honestly two is okay honestly the first trilogy they've been fine but four and onward downward spiral and i know a lot of people are interested in katie featherson possibly reprising her role uh jason blum came out and was talking about it since it, it was brought up to him and a lot of people want to see katie back in the franchise he didn't confirm or deny it he just kind of beat around the bush with it during a recent interview. He said that you're right. I couldn't tell you if I knew we're going to do the movie. We're developing the movie, but I don't know where exactly the story is going to land. We're talking about different things. A hundred percent. We're making a movie. We just haven't gotten that far with the development. But I'll tell you this. I would love to bring her back. And she's a great actress and she's an old friend. And I hope we get to bring her back. Now, Katie Featherson in those movies, I did. I did love her character. I love the performance that she would always bring to the table in those films. She did a very phenomenal job job in my honest opinion nothing oscar worthy or anything but just a very effective performance in these low budget films um and i know this is like her how this is like her call to fame or the thing she's most recognized for these paranormal activity films so i would love to see her back in some capacity but again my honest opinion on this is that i have no genuine interest in another film just just yet because we don't know what direction we're going in we don't know what they're going to do i know the last movie the ghost dimension they promised we would get all these answers everything would make sense and then i'm like we still don't know we still don't know certain things certain things still do not make any sense and a lot of people would argue that the ghost dimension made everything make less sense because it raised more questions than answers uh we don't know anything really about toby still we we know the general gist that it goes all the way back to grandma lois who we know as revealed in paranormal activity 3 had a coven and made a deal with the devil all those years ago with this demon toby that uh the second a, a, a son would be born and he would get to inhabit that that body or whatever you have it i'm just kind of gliding over my brief little memory of this franchise because i haven't watched these movies in probably a year or so at this point um 
but yeah we we kind of were left still wanting more so hopefully in this new film if you're not gonna give us any answers on what happened in the past literally honestly yeah from what they're talking about start fresh start fresh possibly gonna have to do going down back in that rabbit hole of doing retcons and ignoring other entries because honestly they were christopher landon was writing on the fly that's what it felt like each new film was putting in a new component we got time travel in one movie and then that one scene in the marked ones where we finally found out what happened at at the end of the first movie and how that had to do with time travel my eyes just kind of rolled it i'm like bro we're we're literally writing as we go we're writing as we go there's no clear end in sight and then you guys just decided to end it with the mark with the uh, ghost dimension promising all these answers things still not making a com making complete sense because it's clear as day it's very evident with how things are so misconstrued and not adding up that you're writing off the fly how are you writing a movie series like this where things are so all over the place if you were not writing off the fly like if you were actually going into this with the intent of making a coherent narrative i don't see how we ended up in the position we're in everything was being written off of the fly and i know that they were kind of cranking out these movies every october so that's that pr probably also wasn't helping matters because production was rushed all these other things involved with making a quality film were being rushed because these paranormal activity films they were starting to become a tradition we were expecting a movie every year so honestly it just felt like they were writing off of the fly and we know christopher landon is better than that he's proven it with his redemption with the happy death day films and the uh the recent movie freaky now jumping into who i think would be directing it he's he's claiming it will be a huge surprise something that's gonna gonna blow everyone's mind not his words exactly but th that's my general gist of what he's talking about he's saying it's someone who's a surprise now we know that we have a quiet place three coming but john krasinski apparently is not writing or directing it as far as we know from recent reports that came out announcing that a quiet place three would be in development and it's going to be coming out shortly in a few years so my um one of my options is what if it's john krasinski now if they announce that i would be a little bit intrigued because i would love to see what he would possibly do in this type of type of horror film we've seen him transition from that from that uh, character he played on the office we know i believe he directed one episode of the office and then he has this new uh this this new franchise if you want to call it that with a quiet place and a quiet place 2 which still has yet to be released so don't even call it a franchise honestly but what if john krasinski is the one that is doing this new paranormal activity film that's a possibility anyone's a possibility i know some people have speculated it might, it might be jordan peele i don't think it's jordan peele i highly doubt it's jordan Pe jordan peele if it's jordan peele i'll still be intrigued but i i kind of want to say that it's a good good chance that it's john krasinski not to say there's more not to say that he has the strongest bet of being the new writer and director but i want to say if John Krasinski gets announced, I wouldn't be surprised because we know he doesn't have anything to do with A Quiet Place 3 so far. So what if he's working on this Paranormal Activity movie? Or it could be someone completely fresh and someone who we're overlooking that has brought something to, to us recently that we're just not considering. Maybe somebody from the A24 list of movies, maybe one of them, Ari Aster. I, I highly doubt it again. I'm just throwing out names at this point. But I'm considering John Krasinski being involved in this project and i don't know what direction they're going i i just want a good quality film if i find out that they're doing something that would possibly get me invested then i would say okay my interest has been raised but as of right now i'm kind of just like waiting and seeing but luckily we don't have to worry about seeing any dumbasses like mika again just wanted to throw that in there again because i cannot stand that character but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video